This is an ash tree. It's one of millions in Wisconsin's yards, parks, and forests. But we stand a chance of losing them all to a tiny insect that arrived here accidentally in the early 1990s. It's this little beetle, the emerald ash borer, or EAB for short, and it only attacks and kills ash trees. All other trees, including one called the mountain ash, which is not a real ash, are safe from this invasive pest. Here's how you can tell ash trees from other common trees. All native ash trees and the various landscape varieties you might have in your yard have three traits in common. Opposite branching, compound leaves, each of which has five to 11 leaflets. Opposite branching means that the twigs and leaves of the tree are attached directly across from each other. Only a few other tree species are like this. If your tree does not have opposite branching, but instead has twigs and leaves branched in an alternating or staggered pattern, it is not an ash tree. Oak, birch, and elm are common examples of alternately branched trees. Next, take a look at the leaves. All true ash trees have compound leaves. That means that on each leaf stem, there are separate leaflets. True native ash trees, depending on which kind, have five to 11 leaflets. In comparison, oak, elm, and maple all have simple leaves, like this. Two common trees that are often confused with ash are the box elder and the mountain ash. Despite the name, the mountain ash is actually a member of the rose family. You can tell a mountain ash because of its bright orange berries in late summer and fall, and its white flowers in the spring. Also, the mountain ash has alternating branches, unlike the ash's opposite branching pattern. The other tree often mistaken for ash is the box elder. It shares a few traits with ash and sometimes it can be tricky to tell the difference. The box elder has oppositely branched twigs and leaves. It also has compound leaves. But the box elder leaf is typically made up of only three leaflets and they are lobed, sort of like a maple leaf, not smooth edged like the ash leaflet. Tree identification can be difficult but these few simple facts should help you determine whether you're looking at an ash tree or something else. Concerns about trees other than ash should be raised with a private arborist or other tree care professional. When in doubt, a good photograph of the tree, including close-up pictures of the leaves and branches, can help experts determine if it's an ash. You can send those pictures to program staff through our EAB website at emeraldashbor.wi.gov or call us toll free at 1-800-462-2803 and we'll help you determine if you have an ash tree.